Imagine yourself in the future, let's say the year 2050. A future where biodiversity is valued and conserved, where it provides us with food, health, clean air, and water. Biodiversity is the variety of life on Earth, including plants, animals, and microorganisms. This future is the outcome of a vision, agreed upon among countries, to stop the decline in biodiversity. Several decades ago, things looked differently. Since the Industrial Revolution, biodiversity had been declining. In 2015, we realized that in the last 40 years, 4.6 million square kilometers of natural area was converted. This equals the size of Europe. This was caused by us. Crops and livestock replaced many nature areas and even one-third of all food produced was being wasted. 90% of oceans were fully or overexploited. We were building more roads and clearing large areas of forest for timber and paper. If continued, this would have led to another 10% of biodiversity loss globally by 2050. Mostly in areas that still had a large number of species. Aggregated, this effect would be similar to cutting down a pristine forest the size of China. It would have had major consequences for us humans. Loss of nature areas would have aggravated climate change. It would have caused more floods and droughts. Lack of diversity would have made crops more vulnerable to pests and diseases. So what did we do to change course? We stepped up our sustainability initiatives protected areas were expanded and more effectively managed. There were large-scale changes across governments and societies. For example, production standards improved. Technology enabled us to grow more food on less land. We reduced our meat and dairy consumption, using less land to feed animals. And we reduced our food waste. These changes helped to halt the decline in biodiversity. Imagine yourself in the year 2050. Biodiversity is valued and conserved. Our future is not fixed.
Living organisms need energy to survive. These organisms need nutrients and minerals for survival. To get all the nourishments, energy must be transferred from one organism to another. Energy flows from the sun and it goes from one organism to the next. This energy which flows between organisms is the basis of the interaction and feeding relationship in the ecosystem. But how does this energy flow? The flow of energy through the ecosystem is made possible by producers, which are the plants, and consumers, the animals, through food chains and food webs.